Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have a sad update regarding singer and dancer Lance Bass. As always, at Immortal News, we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 9. The world of children's television mourns the loss of Janice Burgess, the creative mind behind the beloved show The Backyardigans. Ms. Burgess passed away at the age of 72. While details surrounding her passing haven't been officially released, the news was confirmed by fellow animation writer Frakeswell Hyman in a heartfelt social media post. Hyman described Ms. Burgess as a vibrant personality who left a lasting impact on those she worked with. He fondly recalled meeting her early in his career and how she not only ensured productions ran smoothly but also fostered a supportive and creative environment. Beyond the Backyardigans, Ms. Burgess's career spanned decades and numerous successful children's shows. She held key positions at major networks like Nickelodeon, Sesame Workshop and Disney, contributing to shows like Blue's Clues, Gullah Gullah Island, and Bubble Guppies. Ms. Burgess's legacy goes beyond just creating entertaining television. She played a crucial role in shaping the imaginations of countless children with her whimsical storytelling and engaging characters. Her ability to transform backyards into magical landscapes and everyday objects into fantastical tools for adventure continues to inspire young viewers. Tributes are pouring in from colleagues and fans alike, remembering Ms. Burgess's wit, kindness, and dedication to her craft. As we celebrate her life and contributions to the world of children's entertainment, her infectious laughter and the joy she brought to millions will undoubtedly live on. Tributes to Janice Burgess. Number 8. The world lost a renowned actress and fashion icon with the passing of Julie Lynn Charlotte, the inventor of the beloved poodle skirt, at the age of 101. Miss Charlotte's story is one of creativity and unexpected inspiration. In 1947, needing a last-minute outfit for a party, she took matters into her own hands and crafted a unique skirt from a large piece of felt. This simple design, later adorned with holiday appliques, became the foundation for the now iconic circle skirt. Encouraged by the compliments she received, Miss Charlotte took her creation a step further. She started making and selling her skirts, initially featuring various designs like dachshunds before the poodle took center stage. The playful poodle skirt quickly captured the hearts of teenagers across the country, becoming a symbol of the carefree spirit of the 1950s. Beyond fashion, Miss Charlotte led a vibrant life. A trained singer, she performed with renowned figures like the Marx Brothers and even had a stint on Broadway. Throughout her life, she married four times and ultimately settled in Mexico, where she spent her later years. Miss Charlotte's legacy extends far beyond the world of fashion. Her ingenuity and resourcefulness continue to inspire, while the poodle skirt remains a cherished reminder of a bygone era. As we remember her life and contributions, tributes are pouring in from around the world celebrating her creativity, spirit, and lasting impact on popular culture. Tributes to Julie Lynn Charlotte. Number 7. Sean Geringer, whose journey from young fatherhood to reality show star in MTV, passed away at the age of 20 as a result of a terrible ATV accident in his hometown of Boone, North Carolina. The accident, described by his mother Mary Hobbs as a sudden and heartbreaking event, has left a profound void in the hearts of those who knew him. His brief life was a tapestry of love, ambition, and resilience. He was a dedicated father to his two kids, Dureli and Esme, whom he shared with ex-girlfriend Selena Gutierrez. His dedication to his family was unwavering, as indicated by his attempts to arrange transportation for trips to his children in Colorado. His strong link with his family, his love of life's basic pleasures such as music and road trips, and his desire to establish a secure future highlight his complex legacy. 
His unexpected passing not only robbed his daughters of their father, but also left his mother without her rock and strength. Hobbes's sad comments convey the essence of his spirit, which was filled with love, adventure, and dreams. As a community and family mourn, they also honor the memories of a young man who, despite adversity, fought to be a caring father and son. The roles that Sean Geringer played as a caring parent and a young man about to forge a path through life will undoubtedly be at the forefront of tributes to him. His story serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing each moment with those we care about. Tributes to Sean Geringer. Number 6. The music world mourns the loss of renowned American jazz pianist and composer Jim Beard, who passed away at the age of 63. The cause of passing has not been made public. Beard was a true innovator in the world of jazz, known for his complex compositions and masterful piano playing. He began his journey at a young age, inspired by jazz legends like Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea. His passion and talent quickly propelled him to the forefront of the jazz scene, where he collaborated with some of the biggest names in the genre, including Michael Brecker, John Schofield, and Wayne Shorter. Beyond his exceptional skills as a performer, Beard was also a gifted composer. His diverse body of work ranged from intricate jazz pieces to soulful ballads, each composition marked by rich harmonies, captivating melodies, and dynamic rhythms. Jim Beard's legacy extends far beyond his musical accomplishments, he was known for his generosity, kindness, and unwavering dedication to his craft. His music continues to inspire and influence musicians and audiences worldwide. Tributes are pouring in from across the music industry, with colleagues and fans expressing their deep sadness and admiration for Jim Beard. He will be remembered as a true musical genius who left a lasting impact on the world of jazz. Tributes to Jim Beard. Number 5. The art world mourns the passing of Paris Martin, a multidisciplinary artist and educator, who passed away at the age of 65, following complications from a heart condition. Martin was a cherished faculty member at Laval University, where she inspired generations of artists with her passion and expertise. She excelled in various artistic disciplines, including painting, sculpture, illustration, and animation. Throughout her career, her work was exhibited in Quebec, Canada, and internationally, garnering recognition for its creativity and depth. Laval University paid tribute to Martin, highlighting her profound impact on the School of Art and the artistic community. They described her as a prolific and admired artist and a teacher of great generosity. Her unexpected passing leaves a void and her legacy will continue to inspire future generations of artists. Paris Martin was born in Maine, USA in 1959. She received her master's degree in visual arts from Laval University and later earned a doctorate in art studies and practices from the University of Quebec in Montreal. Her dedication to artistic exploration and education leaves behind a lasting legacy. Tributes are pouring in from colleagues, students, and admirers, honoring Paris Martin's remarkable career and impactful contributions to the world of art. Tributes to Paris Martin. Number 4. Edward Bond, one of the most influential British playwrights of the 20th century, passed away at the age of 89. His work, known for its boldness and unflinching portrayal of social issues, left a lasting mark on the world of theatre. Bond's early career was defined by his fight against censorship. His play Save, which dealt with themes of violence and brutality, sparked outrage and ignited a crucial debate about artistic freedom in the 1960s. The play's ultimate success in being performed uncensored paved the way for greater artistic expression in British theatre. Beyond his fight against censorship, Bond's work explored complex themes of power, human nature and societal injustices. 
he challenged audiences with his unique voice, often using historical settings to reflect on contemporary issues. Plays like Lear and The Woman showcased his ability to reimagine classics and present them with a fresh perspective. While some of his later works were less frequently performed in mainstream British theater, Bond remained a prolific writer and a respected figure in European theater circles. He continued to write and inspire generations of playwrights and theater professionals. Edward Bond's legacy lies in his courage to challenge the status quo, his unwavering commitment to artistic freedom, and his powerful voice that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Tributes are pouring in from across the globe, celebrating his remarkable career and lasting impact on the world of theater. Tributes to Edward Bond. cause of passing has been made public. Verduzco's career spanned over five decades, leaving a lasting impression on audiences across generations. He began his journey in 1974 and found success in various telenovelas and television shows, including Mundo de Juguet, El Pequeño Robin Hood, and Gotita de Gente. However, Verduzco's most recognizable role came in the early 2000s when he portrayed the beloved Don Camerino in the hit comedy series La Familia P. Luch. Alongside renowned actors Eugenio Derbez and Consuelo Duval, Verduzco's comedic talent and on-screen chemistry with his fellow cast members contributed significantly to the show's enduring popularity. Tributes have been pouring in from colleagues and fans alike, remembering Verduzco's warmth, humor and dedication to his craft. Eugenio Derbez, who co-starred with Verduzco in La Familia P. Luch, expressed his condolences on social media highlighting Verduzco's lasting impact on the show. Juan Verduzco's legacy extends beyond his acting career. He leaves behind a wealth of laughter and cherished memories for his fans and a reminder of the power of comedic performances to bring joy and unite audiences. Tributes to Juan Verduzco. Number 2. Francisco González Valer, a devout Catholic church servant and a beacon of faith, passed away at the age of 84. Born in Spain, he moved to the United States to complete his theological studies. His journey was defined by devotion, education, and service. He was ordained as a priest for the Sons of the Holy Family in 1964, and his career exemplified his unrelenting dedication to his calling and community. His pastoral ministry spanned countries, from his early years teaching in Maryland to his fight for Hispanic Catholics as the Auxiliary Bishop of Washington. His roles demonstrated his leadership and commitment for teaching and outreach, especially as he advocated for the Hispanic, Curcio, and Charismatic movements within the Archdiocese of Washington. His weekly column in El Pregonero newspaper guided and inspired innumerable readers, demonstrating his commitment to his faith and community. Pope John Paul II appointed him as Washington's Auxiliary Bishop in 2001, making him the first member of his order to receive this honor. His consecration was a source of pride for the Sons of the Holy Family, marking a watershed event in their history and his life of service. In retirement, he went to Spain to be with his family, where he practiced his faith through personal meditation and interaction with those he loved. His loss has left a vacuum in the hearts of those who knew him, but his legacy of compassion, leadership and devotion to service will go on. Tributes to Francisco González Valer. Today's top headlines. News 1. Lance Bass, the beloved NSYNC member, has candidly opened up about his journey with diabetes a diagnosis he received amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking with People magazine, Bass highlighted the significant lifestyle adjustments he's had to make since learning of his condition. From a meticulous focus on diet to finding innovative ways to incorporate exercise into his hectic schedule, 
Bass shared insights into the daily realities of managing diabetes. Exercising is so key right now, he explained, noting the challenge of fitting workouts into his busy life, but emphasizing the importance of self-care. This revelation comes after Bass previously disclosed battling psoriatic arthritis, demonstrating his resilience in the face of health challenges. As he navigates this new chapter, Bass remains a beacon of positivity, inspiring many with his openness and commitment to well-being. News 2 Cole Brower, a 29-year-old sailor from Long Island, is set to make history as the first American woman to complete a solo, non-stop circumnavigation of the globe. Her vessel, the Class 40 racing sailboat named First Light, is expected to cross the finish line off Spain's coast this week. Brower's journey, which began in October, has captivated supporters worldwide. Despite the immense challenges and the male-dominated field, Brower's determination and skill have shown through. She shares her experiences and the highs and lows of her voyage with her vast Instagram following, showcasing her resilience and the reality of solo sailing. Brower aims to challenge the sailing community's gender norms and inspire women and girls everywhere to pursue their dreams, no matter the obstacles. Her expected second-place finish in the Global Solo Challenge marks a significant milestone in her career and a historic moment for female sailors. News 3. After undergoing planned abdominal surgery two months ago, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, has been seen for the first time, sparking widespread discussion about her health and well-being. Captured in a car with her mother near Windsor Castle, the images released by TMZ have done little to quell the swirling rumors and speculations that have filled her public absence. The princess, last seen publicly during Christmas in Norfolk with Prince William and their children, has since maintained a low profile as advised by Kensington Palace, focusing on recovery and family normality. As the royal family navigates through this sensitive period, notably with King Charles's recent health disclosure, the commitment to privacy remains paramount, a stance respected by major British outlets. With Kate expected to resume public engagements, including the annual Trooping the Color Parade, the intrigue around her health underscores the royal family's enduring balance between public interest and the right to privacy. News 4. A tragic incident unfolded Monday night when a small, single-engine plane crashed near an interstate in Nashville, Tennessee, claiming the lives of all five passengers on board. The aircraft encountered engine trouble and, despite the pilot's emergency communication with John C. Toon Airport at 7.40 p.m., reporting a complete engine shutdown, it failed to reach a safe landing. Dramatic final moments captured in radio transmissions revealed the pilot's desperate attempts to land, ultimately acknowledging the plane wouldn't make it to the runway. The plane crashed on a grassy median just off Interstate 40, erupting into flames upon impact. Remarkably, no vehicles or buildings on the ground were affected. The National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration have launched an investigation to uncover the circumstances leading to this devastating event. News 5. In a heartfelt appeal to the community, the family of renowned adult film star Emily Willis is rallying support through a GoFundMe campaign amidst her critical battle for life in a California hospital. Following an urgent medical emergency due to an unexpected accident, the 25-year-old actress finds herself in a dire situation, prompting an outpouring of support from fans and well-wishers worldwide. Known for her vibrant presence and significant achievements in the entertainment industry since 2017, including accolades from notable organizations, Emily's sudden health crisis has cast a shadow over her illustrious career. Her family, sharing their profound distress, remains hopeful, drawing on Emily's indomitable spirit to navigate this challenging time. They invite the community's solidarity to aid in covering the escalating medical expenses, underscoring the gravity of the situation and the urgent need for support. News 6. Janelle Brown, beloved Sister Wives reality TV star, has announced the devastating loss of her son, Robert Garrison Brown, at the tender age of 25. Known affectionately as Garrison, 
His passing has left a profound void in the hearts of those who knew him, described as a radiant beacon in the lives of his family and friends. The Brown family, known for their appearance on the popular TLC show, which provides a glimpse into their unique family dynamics, is facing this unimaginable grief with heavy hearts. They've requested privacy during this sorrowful time as they begin the difficult journey of honoring Garrison's memory and coming to terms with his sudden departure. The community and fans have rallied around the Browns, offering condolences and support as they navigate through this period of mourning. News 7. The surfing community mourns the loss of Gunther Kitzler, a 56-year-old Australian surfer, after a tragic incident at a popular surf break in East Java, Indonesia. Known for his passion for the waves and a life spent riding them, Kitzler was caught in a sudden and powerful swell at the renowned G-Land surf spot, leading to a dire situation when he vanished beneath the water's surface. Despite the valiant efforts of friends and local search teams, Kitzler's journey ended far from home. This incident has sparked conversations about the importance of safety and vigilance in the surfing world. Kitzler, remembered for his vibrant spirit and contributions to the surfing community, leaves behind a legacy that transcends borders, from the shores of Bondi to the waves of Bali. Number one, the Czech Republic mourns the loss of renowned poet, lyricist, and artist Pavel Zajacek, who passed away on March 4, 2024, at the age of 72. He succumbed to a long-term illness, with pneumonia developing in his final days. Zajacek was a multifaceted creative force who left a lasting mark on Czech culture. He co-founded the music poetry group DG307 in 1973, becoming their lyricist, reciter, and frontman. Zajacek's poignant and thought-provoking poems resonated with audiences, especially during the country's period under communist rule. He also published his work in underground publications known as Sami's Dots, defying censorship and providing a voice to those yearning for artistic freedom. Beyond music and poetry, Zajicek actively participated in the fight for human rights. He signed Charter 77, a pivotal document demanding respect for human rights in Czechoslovakia. His courage and unwavering commitment to free expression inspired many. Zajicek's influence extended beyond the realm of music and poetry. He dabbled in acting, appearing in films like The Buttons and Andal Exit. He also collaborated with the renowned band, The Plastic People of the Universe, contributing his verses to their repertoire. Vladimir Labustrapal, owner of Gorilla Records, paid tribute to Zajicek on social media, highlighting his immense contribution to the country's independent cultural scene. He described Zajicek as one of the most significant figures who left behind a legacy that continues to shape generations. Pavel Zajicek's legacy lives on through his powerful poems, captivating music, and unwavering dedication to freedom of expression. Tributes are pouring in from across the Czech Republic and beyond, honoring his remarkable life and contributions to art and culture. Tributes to Pavel Zajicek.